Hi, folks. You know, I've been researching on the Internet, you know, about air guns that you can use for uh, self-defense and all that, and I hear a lot of garbage about 177s, and you really shouldn't use an air air rifle, and I couldn't find one about big boy air rifles for self-defense, so this is what I'm dealing with here. Okay, this is my air rifle. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the Benjamin Bulldog 357. Well, I outfitted it. I have a, only about a 75-yard range that I need to use it on for home protection. I have a, a very large piece of property in the back for as far as inner city dwelling. It's considered large anyways. So I put these flip-up sights, which I like from my military days. Uh, they're a little more easier to use as, than a scope in close contact. And I outfitted it with a, a Cree flashlight. And I also have a laser sight, which has been sighted in at 30 to 35 yards works quite well and I have a handle that also functions as a bipod which makes it handy for when I have to really take a serious shot. Now we know the power of this weapon we also know there's an array of rounds of course these poly, poly mags are rated as pretty good rounds and then of course these 81 grain hollow point they're okay too and I found these 115s grain wounds here and I modified them with a uh, press the BB in top just to add a little more uh, armor piercing capability and of course I found these night clad rounds here look like a 38 special bullet to me if you ask me I also taken and bought some sabos 9 millimeter sabos and in this one I put four uh, pins I uh, used wax to hold them together so they don't just fall out of the sabo but I fired these and they leave an awful maiming mark great for home protection if you just want to shoot them in the leg or buttocks and stop them you're not really trying to kill them just trying to stop them from getting away after stealing your crap or something a lot of tweakers in my neighborhood and then of course some homemade uh, rounds some hornadies that I uh, cut the tip and uh, made a hollow point copper jacketed slipped in the sabo fired these they're excellent it's a 308 round it's a 314 diameter and of course a blunt nose now with my firearm magazines, the last two obviously don't fit in the magazine. They have to be fired singular, so what I usually use is load one of these and then have an empty slot in the magazine and then follow it up usually with these for home protection, for lethality, and then I have one magazine loaded up with either something like this if it's just for maiming. However, um, if it really hits the fan, I'm obviously going to use something more on the heavy side of one of these. Um, so that's my take on it. Um, yeah, you can use an air rifle for home self-defense. I do it all the time. Um, I think that at the 100-yard maximum range that I'm dealing with and the power of this particular rifle, outfitted as it is with its optics and laser and bipod handle set up, a sling that I mount it, and uh, flip-up sights that I mount it that are zeroed in and are very accurate. I shot expert in the Marines, and these sites I'm more familiar with and I'm comfortable with, and that was a long time ago too, folks. And it's, you know, don't have to register it with a, it's not a firearm, so I don't have to register this. Anyways, folks, that's my take on a, um, on a uh, air-powered rifle for home defense. What are your opinions?